Willie D. Live. What's your diet like? I don't have no diet. I you, eat you, whatever, so you, I eat whatever you whatever you choose. What is yeah. it? Just in moderation, or just whenever you choose? I just yeah. said it again. Is it in moderation? Do you make sure that okay, I like, let's say, fried chicken, but I'm not gonna eat it every day. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat too much red meat or too much drink too much Coca Cola or whatever. That's self discipline. Yeah, but that's what I do. I have self discipline. I eat a variety of foods. The only foods that I don't eat is shell food because I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm allergic to shell food. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I eat whatever I choose to eat. But, so you still eat, you, you, go ahead. But but I put limits on it, and I know what I, I know what my intake is. So anything other than that, I have to investigate. You know, I have to check it out. I don't experiment with me. So, do you eat fried foods? You eat fried foods. Yeah, I, fried eat, foods I eat all. Good. I eat, eat all kinds of food other than shell food. Yeah. How often do you eat fried foods? Mm -hmm. Whatever you feel like. Well, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now, how often do you do you get checkups? Yeah, Regular every six months. Every six months. Yeah. Every six months, I go to the. Get me a check. Have, have, they, have they ever discovered something and you had to, you know, they caught it early enough for you to fight it and, and beat it? They, no, they, the only, only, uh, no, I never, I never really had no what you would call a, a serious element. Mm -hmm. Thus far, I never had it. You know, like uh, when this uh, Corona, COVID, well, I went to the hospital twice. Stayed four days the first time and three days the next time. But uh, so it was pretty bad. Yeah, from that point, that's the only real sickness that I ever had. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm 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 always curious when I when I interview my elders and when I <laughs> talk to guys who are where I want to be. And uh, I always find it, um, I find it, uh, you know, I guess uh, fascinating that you can, uh, you get to be, a, you know, a certain age where you've lived and seen certain things and, and your body changes. And that's part of growth, you know, like your body changes, you know, your friends changes, you know, uh, people are born, but oftentimes, you know, people are dying, your peers die, family members die, and things like that. You know, uh, as you get older and 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 you see, you experience all of these people that you've known uh, that, you know, uh, transition, you know, does it, does it weigh on you? Is it like a burden? Uh, is it something that you think about often, or do you just, like, hey? Well, you, know, you, you deal with reality. Mm -hmm. And the certain things are automatic. Birth and death. Those things are going to happen. And uh, everybody look forward to going to heaven, but don't nobody want to die. And that's the way you have to look at it. And you have to adjust and sacrifice and make accordingly. You know, if you're eating all these well, you know when you're eating out of sync and and uh, what your your intake, what your intake is, and what is not. What's you know what's good to you, you know what's not good to you, and good thing just and vice versa would have for you, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just have to make sacrifices. Everything you want, that don't mean you have to have, or that is good for you. And that's what you got to look at. And things that are proven not good for me, I don't mess with those. I don't eat chill food because it swells me up. I'd be in a room at Chinese restaurants, and they, they, if back if I'm in a, where the circulation is bad, my allergies start messing with me. You know, so... 
It's just certain things you just don't do. And there's certain things you have to do. But you keep those down to a minimum if you can. If you can't, you learn to deal with it. And I've been fortunate enough to be healthy, but I take care of my body. I don't drink no alcohol. I drink. The last time I had a drink was 60 years ago. How long? 60. 60? Wow. The last time I smoked a cigarette was 55 years ago. Okay. No smoking, no drinking. No smoking, no drinking. Okay. And uh, I did that on my own. And I did that because the thing that uh, I was doing to make these things happen wasn't in agreement with me. And I had to make stop doing it. I just one day I just I I, I got I got drunk. My partner dropped me off at home in Gary and Anna. Ice on the ground. I, I, as soon as I got out of the car, I fell. I couldn't get up. I had to crawl to my front door. <laughs> Every time I get up, I fall down. I'm drunk on that ice. Mm -hmm. You know, and you, you can figure the ice and snow, and you're trying to walk drunk. And you, mm -hmm. you can imagine we that. Did. And mm -hmm. uh, my sister had to come to the door and help me in the house. And, I was so embarrassed that I promised myself I'd never drink again. 